What is up fam? What is up sick cunts? We are doing a meal prep today. I'm gonna show you basically what I'm eating for the next couple days. I actually think it is, okay, I got two days here. I go off of how much protein I have. I believe I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three meals per day, which gives me a total of two days and then like one extra one. A steak, but that's actually just for today. That's not gonna be part of the meal prep. We're gonna focus on what I'm doing with the chicken, the vegetables, and the carbs. I'm gonna show you guys what I cook all the chicken with. We're gonna marinate that. It's gonna taste juicy, juicy like the gains you're gonna get. It's gonna be delicious. So the main ingredients for my meal prep today, I'm gonna put them on the screen here, is going to be boneless, skinless chicken breast, spinach, and the rice, I always forget its name, it's like kohono, I don't even know, it's like Japanese white rice, tastes amazing. That's pretty much it. So within the meal prep, this time, it's only going to be chicken breast and the rice, and then every time I go to get the meal prep, I'm gonna make the spinach salad. I'm gonna be using these meal prep containers. I have ones that are also divided, but since I'm not putting vegetables in there and it's just gonna be the rice and the chicken. I'm gonna just use these full ones that have no divider in it. So my birthday was the other day and I got a much needed gift for today for what we're doing in this video. A Hamilton Beach rice cooker because I was using these pots before and honestly it works, it's fine, but this saves you so much Time and it's so easy, you just leave it in there, let it cook, and it does all the work for you. Makes some gains perfect. I also haven't been doing well with cooking my rice because the past two times already, I've burnt the bottom, and I don't know what it is because it's never happened before. We got a new stove, and it has like the fast boil thing, so I think I'm not like, I don't know, I'm not doing it right, I'm not putting enough water, but like, I always used to do it before, never burned it. And every single time I've been burning the bottom and it's been pissing me off because I'm wasting rice. So we got this baby here and now it's not gonna happen. We're gonna make perfect rice. Let's start. So first thing we need to do is marinate the chicken and the spices and whatnot that I have. So we're gonna need a bowl. Ah! Yeah, we... <laughs> okay, we got a bowl. Those gains! Look at them! Let's do the marinade. Oh that thing always turns on. We got like a central vac, and I don't know, that one's like got a loose switch or something, and you literally walk by it, and the shit turns on by itself. It's scary. The first thing we're going to add is the olive oil. Just a little bit, you know? Or a lot. Some Portuguese, and I love it. Second thing, white wine vinegar. Frank's extra hot garlic powder. So we have the Montreal chicken spice, pink rock, yeah, pink Himalayan salt. Um, the only thing is, is I'm pretty sure this one already has salt in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Montreal chicken and I'm not gonna use the Himalayan salt. If this one was salt free, I would put some of the Himalayan salt in as well. The last thing is the lemon. <laughs> I'm gonna let these chicken breasts marinate. I'm gonna toss them in the fridge. While that's marinating, I'm gonna start on the rice. I've actually never used this thing, it hasn't been opened. So let's hope I don't fuck it up. Yeah, that's what we need. This is big, wow. I usually cook a lot of rice. Like today, it's not gonna be too much, but honestly think this is gonna be perfect like this gives you up to 15 cups okay so the rice is cooking now wow that's so much easier normally I have to like watch the rice make sure it boils then turn it down and then yeah everything just gets fucked up but that is so much easier because now I can just leave it and like do all the other things I need to do which today's meal prep isn't gonna be that hard because I don't have to actually like cook any veggies. I'm gonna be doing salad, even like just like the cucumber, which you might have saw in my last YouTube video. I'll just like dice up cucumber and put it in the meal prep while I'm taking it out. So right now for the chicken, 
I'm gonna barbecue. I'm gonna turn the barbecue on right now and let it heat up to about like 350, 400 and then put the chicken breast in there. One thing that I really like to use is um, parsley and it's more so just for the taste rather than like nutritional value. I just really like it and I usually just put it on top of my salad or on the chicken or rice or whatever and that just tastes really good. I like it, it makes meal preps easier because when it comes down to meal prepping you need to make it taste good or else you're not gonna be able to do it. The biggest thing with like all this like different nutrition stuff and meal planning, meal prepping, it needs to be sustainable you have to be able to do it like all these like crazy diets that are like crash diets they're super hard and you're struggling and like your moods going down and you just feel like shit your workouts aren't good like that's not sustainable you're only going to be able to do that for a little bit and the worst part about it is very easy to bounce back after doing that crash diet you you will drop so much weight and then it becomes a point where you just can't do it anymore and you gain it all back super fast because you're like the thing is your metabolism is also going to take a hit when you're doing that. Don't go head first and like get rid of everything. Make it taste good. Enjoy the food that you're having and it will be that much easier guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is take, I have two onions here, if I can grab them. Two onions here and I'm going to dice these up, saute them or whoa. I'm going to caramelize them, caramelize them, however you say it, whatever. And I'm going to just use that to put on top of the chicken. Cause like I said, needs to taste good because or else the sick cunt lifestyle is not easy. Well, I mean, it, it isn't easy. The sick cunt lifestyle is not easy, but you can make it more bearable by making your food taste good. Let's chop this onion up. These onions are making me cry. Ugh, they don't want me to succeed. Ah! All right, let's fry these onions up. Shop! We're just gonna put some olive oil in there and then toss those all in and that is it. Maybe a little bit of Himalayan salt. Okay, let's put these chicken breasts on the barbecue. Those look hella good. We gotta make sure these stay juicy as fuck because we cannot have dry chicken up in this bitch. And that's another reason I do not freeze my meal preps anymore unless I absolutely have to because I hate, oh my God, this is burning! No, it's not, never mind. Because I hate dry chicken. It is the worst. So we're gonna make sure that I barbecue these. Perfection. She's smoking. Let's get these on there. Oh my God. These are gonna taste good. I haven't had these in a while. Another great thing about doing barbecue is that you don't have dishes beside like your marinade bowl. And that's a bonus because we gotta save time. I always like to sprinkle a little bit more of the Montreal chicken because this stuff is unreal right onto the grill, right onto that chicken, mmm. So on the onions, I literally just put some garlic powder and some Himalayan salt. So the rice just finished up. I'm gonna be adding half a cup to each meal prep for my carbs. The chicken is absolutely perfect. All right, I'm gonna put one chicken breast in each meal prep. And like, these are pretty big chicken breasts. Like I honestly think I'm getting about 50 to 60 grams of protein from each one. And I'm gonna add that on top of the chicken. And then to top it off, toss a little bit of parsley on there and we're good to go. So what I'm about to show you is not in my meal prep, but this is gonna taste unreal right now. Oh my God, it's burning! Shit! I'm gonna destroy that steak right now. You ready to see the finished product? It's gonna taste so good. This looks unreal. Honestly, this might even be... Nah, nah, I've had better ones. But this one is good, I'm telling you. This one's real good. So that is the finished product, guys. Like I said, I added the parsley on top, and then there's the caramelized onions, chicken, and Japanese rice. That honestly looks unreal. This is what I mean, guys. You can just cook really good for your meal preps and you won't have a problem dieting because it's gonna taste good and you're gonna to wanna to eat them. I advise you doing them in smaller batches. That way you get to change it up every once in a while. You don't have to freeze them. It's gonna taste good and it's exciting and that way you can just keep on getting shredded so you can become a sick cut. And that's it. 
that's it fam. I hope this video helped you guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new so I can keep making videos like this so I can help you get shredded. Or if you just like watching them and you like my tunes and whatnot, then just make sure you're subscribing. But anyway, see you in the next video. Let's get it.